Hi guys, Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. In this episode, we are going to be reviewing the position of the advanced playmaker. During this video, we're going to be taking a look at the key attributes for an advanced playmaker, and we're also going to be taking a look at some of the top players on Football Manager 2015 for the advanced playmaker role. To give you a bit of an example of the type of players that can play in the advanced playmaker position, what you'll be seeing in the back of your, well, on the screen at the moment is just some of the uh, profiles for some really, really good um, advanced playmakers. So you've got the likes of David Silva, James Rodriguez, Meza Ozil and Christian Eriksen from Tottenham. First of all, we're going to take a look at some of the key attributes for the advanced playmaker position on Football Manager. As you can imagine, it's going to be largely down to a lot of kind of really, really good passing attributes and also having really good vision. But we will also explore some other attributes that are going to be key for this position. OK, so just to show you guys the attributes for an advanced playmaker, I've decided to just click on David Silver's um, profile on Football Manager 2015. Now, what I've decided to do is just highlight the attributes. So we can see here that his dribbling, first touch, passing and technique are going to be the really, really key technical ones. Now, obviously, you know in real life that David Silva is a very, very technical player. He's got immense skill and, um, you know, can just kind of like hold on to the ball and just make things happen. So it's more the kind of like mental attributes, I'd say, when having a look at the advanced playmaker. So it's really, really important they have good anticipation, composure, decision making, really good flair, good off the ball, teamwork and vision as well. When I'm actually looking for an advanced playmaker myself, these are obviously all the kind of key attributes that you do need to look for. I do mainly look for the passing attribute, the technique attribute, vision and off the ball. They're my kind of main ones that I look for. I think it's obviously really, really important if they do have a, you know, a little bit of flair and dribbling, it just kind of gives you a little bit of something else. But obviously not every single player in the world is going to be like David Silva. You know, he's a really, really special player. So if you're kind of managing a bit of a lower level and you decide that you want to use an advanced playmaker, I'd really, really highly recommend that you look for the passing attribute, technique, vision and off the ball. I think every, everything else is kind of a little bit of a bonus, um, you know, especially things like flair and dribbling there. They're kind of like luxury attributes, if you like. And of course, if a player does have them attributes, then it's all well and good for yourself. I think now it's going to be really, really important just to have a look at where you can actually play an advanced playmaker. So if we have a look at this kind of little pitch screen here, the player, well, the positions that you can play an advanced playmaker in are in this central role here. You can play them in the central midfielder role, so a little bit deeper. And you can also play them on the left and right attacking wings as well. So you, if you imagine you can have David Silva just kind of sitting out on the left hand side of the pitch and you can have him, you know, kind of just seeing what's going on. A player like David Silva, obviously, he's got a really, really good crossing ability. He's got a little bit of pace. It's not obviously the kind of main thing about David Silva's game. Um, but certainly if you did have him on the left or right hand, um, you know, kind of more advanced positions, he could certainly do a job, um, you know, with his vision um, and things like that, just kind of, you know, crossing the ball and, you know, making chances for your strikers. So having looked at the key attributes for an advanced playmaker, I think it's quite important to think about how this type of player can actually fit in within your tactics. So obviously a player like David Silva um, is really, really important, especially if you were managing a team like Man City. Obviously, these type of players, generally, they're not the kind of most physical players. So it's really, really important that you kind of have more physical players in the midfield um, just to kind of compensate for the for the things that you're going to be lacking from actually having an advanced playmaker within your tactic. Now, obviously, it's really, really good to have an advanced playmaker. Um, but yeah, just, just do make sure that you have kind of other kind of like hard working players within your team and your tactic just to make sure that, you know, you've also got that steel in the middle as well as the creativity from your advanced playmaker. To finish off this video, you will see in the background a couple of wonder kids who are advanced playmakers. So you've got Adnan Yanazai, who plays for Manchester United, and you've also got Martin Odegaard, who plays for Real Madrid. So obviously both these players, you know, they're really, really skillful players. Um, you know, they, they've got the good vision, passing technique, etc. And these players are absolutely perfect. If you're looking for really, really young um, advanced playmakers then these are the type of players that you need to be having a look out for so 
yeah that's the end of this video guys i hope you've enjoyed this one and um, if you could please leave the likes it really really does help the channel and of course do subscribe for some more football manager content in the future thanks for watching